What's up guys, Jason from Thinline Defense bringing you what may be the best battle belt ever. Let's check it out. All right, so first I wanna go ahead and thank Chuck with 1441 gear. Uh, there will be a link to his website below and just remember that there's a code TLDCO save you some money so he hooked us up with this multi cam holster I know it doesn't go with the black belt but it goes with my duty belt which we will check out later all right let's get this thing on the bench show you what uh, what we like what we don't like about it so with the tacticon belt the only thing that's missing off of this that I would typically have is handcuffs I would have over here or somewhere in the middle. Uh, I don't have an AR mag because I don't use that at work. Um, so I have my True North uh, modular holster adapter. This thing is, in my opinion, a game changer when it comes to setting up a belt because it goes through the molly instead of through the belt area. So it's not between the Velcro. First aid kit, you saw this with the K Tactical belt. The other thing with this belt that I wanted to show um, these Kiwis. So this is a Glock 19 mag and a Glock 17 mag. Just to kind of give you an idea of what the height difference is. Compared to the K Tactical, this is just a much better build in my opinion. See it has this neoprene rubberish uh, coating on the inside. Still you adjust it very similar to the K Tactical. So you would adjust it here and then come over it with the inner belt. Uh, no, I'm not, I shouldn't call it a belt, the inner pad. Um, I ordered mine medium, which was appropriate according to their website or according to Amazon uh, for my, my size. But you see that there's, there's some area where it's just not, not hitting. This buckle, it's, it's definitely an imitation Cobra buckle, but it's a better imitation than the K-Tactical. Yeah, so all in all, man, I think that this belt is one of the best buys that you can get. For under $30, I was telling the guys, this, this is probably gonna be my, the, the belt that I use the most. I have just fallen in love with this thing. I don't know how it's gonna hold up, you know, durability wise, but this is, this is gonna be the, you know, next to the bedside uh, belt. So I'm really looking forward to using this more often, taking it out to the range and just having all around fun with it. All right, so initial initial review, inspecting the, the belt, I didn't find any part that concerned me like the K Tactical belt did. And an update to that, so the area that, that was uh, delaminating, it actually ended up ripping. So uh, K Tactical belt, I thought it was going to be good. I like the laser cut molly. I liked a lot of things about it. Um, ended up being a big failure. So Tacticon, I didn't see anything like that. I didn't see anything that was delaminated. I didn't see anything, any of the stitching that was wrong. There's a lot of, you know, box stitching and double stitching that looks like they put together a really great product. You still have the laser cut molly, which I like the look of. Um, same ease of, of putting stuff on and off. The belt, uh, the, the buckle itself is better than the K-Tactical. All in all, I just think it's a better belt. The padding is, uh, is, has that rubber coating that I was talking about. I like that better. My, my chief complaint about the Tacticon belt is its size uh, limitations. So if I have this set to my body right now, just wearing a t-shirt, if I wanted to throw a sweater on or a jacket, this might get hard to get around that. And there's not enough um, uh, maneuverability or, or uh, uh, you can't change the belt size to make it that much larger than what it is now. And I bought this for my waist size that was recommended on the Tacticon page on Amazon. So uh, chew on that before you make, you make a purchase. All in all though, this is so far, this is my favorite belt. It's super comfortable to wear. The padding is fantastic. It doesn't slip as much as my other uh, uh, belts that are like this. Like a one, I'm, I'm kind of considering this a one-piece belt. 
Um, it doesn't slip around like the other ones do. Definitely not as much as the K Tactical. The rubber coating really helps out. I've never really guaranteed something before, but I really, really like this belt. This is gonna be my, this is probably my favorite belt. I'm gonna say it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thanks to our patrons, you guys made this possible. Really appreciate it. Thanks to all the people that like, comment, and subscribe on here. Hit us up in the comments below. Let us know what you think about this belt, what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see Tacticon to do different. And uh, when you, any other belts that you'd like to see for a duty setup that, uh, that I could take a look at. All right, guys. Catch you later.